Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Hey, welcome back everybody. One Night Sniper here. Alright, we are in combat zone. We have uh, recruited Kate here. She's our newest companion. Uh, so I'm excited to get to know her a little bit and see what she can do. I'm pretty sure she's melee. Uh, so that's kind of cool. We haven't had a melee person except, I guess, Codsworth. But um, we haven't had him for a long time. Okay, so I want to explore combat zone, see what they got around here, and then we will be heading over to Diamond City to do some random quests that we got around there. Probably eventually head back to Sanctuary as we're running a little low on water. Uh, plus, I want to kind of see if maybe we can craft Kate a, a better weapon. See what's I don't know if any is available for her yet, but we'll see. Alright, they probably just got a lot of junk around here. Probably any food. A lot of noodle cups. That'll work. Oh, so that uh, little bug I had a few episodes back where I couldn't bring up my uh, hotkey, my hotkeys wouldn't work, or third person. Um, I went ahead and posted a bug report on Horizon's page, um, and I got a response back. Uh, the mod author doesn't think it's due to Horizon, and I think I agree with him uh, at this point. Because uh, after Googling it, other people have had the issues outside of Horizon, so... Uh, still no really good answer on how to fix it, other than what I found out. Other people are telling me to just reload the last save, which isn't a good idea, in my opinion. So, but in, make, forcing it into third person, uh, such as by one being thrown around by a deathclaw, or just entering a crafting station, appears to fix it. So, as long as it doesn't, like, grow into a large problem, uh, I don't think we'll have an issue, so... This is Tommy's room. Can't say I miss the crowds, but I sure miss their caps. How's it going, Tommy? Take care of Kate. All right? All right. Okay, we need to try to head up. A little more 308 rounds. Also, I need to f figure out if I have those dumbass ferns I've been carrying around forever. I have a feeling I dropped them off somewhere. Hey. What you need? Need. She doesn't have it. Dog meat? Did I give them to you? Hey. I did not. Oh, uh, well, that sucks. Anyways, we'll have to figure out where I put those. That's a quest in Diamond City. Turn those in. Okay, nothing much going on in here. Okay, there's my route up. Go ahead and... Get rid of this. Okay, let's head up. Yeah, finding drugs here seems appropriate.
I like how they just built random like shacks inside of here. Well, someone was sleeping up here. Hooded rags. Oh, they take over everything. They give you endurance, though. Okay. Actually, let me see if she can do this. Where is she? Hey. Do you have any hmm? skills, Kate? I know it's an easy one, but let me know if you want me to help with that lock. Yeah, apparently she can. Or any lock for that matter. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. Yeah, how do I get you to do this? I think you can unlock that. There we go. I'm out of bobby pins. Have any on you? All right. Heads up. So I gotta give you bobby pins, which I guess makes sense. You can have eighteen of them. This better be worth it. But I'll get this one because I don't want to wait for you. Nice. You're pretty handy with a bobby pin. Yeah, I do okay. Alright, I think we are done here. Let's head out of this place. Which weapons? I guess we already looked at that. Revolutionary sword. Let me check that out. <coughs> yeah, for a blunt weapon. Yeah, let's drink some water before we get out of here. Okay, which way do we want to go? Oh, you know what? We should stop by Hubris Comics. Since we're right here. Probably passed by it a bunch of times. We'll do that. Alright, I don't remember what we had to do here. Clear the ghouls, okay. I can do that. Maybe she's not melee. She's using a double barrel shotgun. All right, come on, people. Gavinger. Stupid monkey. Oh, you got behind me, did you? There we go. 
Dog meat, do your thing. So far, so good. Yeah, I think the rest are probably upstairs. So yeah, dog meat is a badass now. I uh, don't think there's anything in there. Heads up. What is it? Go check that out. No problem. Yeah, but she can do. She's not gonna do it now, is she? Uh, I almost missed this. Uh, Firmly gain plus one percent chance to avoid all damage from an attack. Wait. Okay. Look alive. Yeah. Check it out. Are you just not gonna do it? Okay. Looks empty, but. Just want to be sure. That's it. Oh, nope. I didn't have my light on. Grognax Axe. Nice. Hits cause more stagger and targets take bleed damage. Weighs a lot. Does a little more damage that's probably slow though. But so is our bat, so I mean. That's medium speed. Wow, that might be actually be really good. Uh, because we can probably mod it. Like I said, it's a little more... Well, it's a lot more weight. It's double the weight, but... I mean, this is an effing battle axe, right? <laughs> okay, I was just curious to see if he had any, like, special moves, but... Sure. All right. Let's try this out for a little bit. Right now, it's only doing about a little over half the damage our uh, bat was doing, but it said we can probably mod it. I hear something breathing. Jangles. It's worth a little bit of money. Scavenger's note, bottle caps. Let's take a look at that note. Did someone drive a bulldozer through here? I don't know which one we just picked up. Can't believe I sign on for this who wants this crap collectors the boss say so who's the fool here them or us must be that must be the right one. Oh yep okay well I'm, I'm happy with the axe find go up hold on Kate, where are you? Why is it they're always right in my face when I don't want them to be? Or when I want them for something? Nowhere to be found. Got it. We got some duct tape. Uh, I saw a safe. Okay, that one I can't do. How did you? <laughs> that didn't help, did it? All right, Kate. We're gonna have to unlock that later when you get free. Take these baseballs. If I find you, you're gonna regret it. Shit. 
I was just getting warmed up. Come on, you rat spitting out of wiping the floor with you. There you are. Look alive. Come on. Need something? Yeah, I need you to open the safe. For once. See what you can do. I'm on it, Captain. Probably wait till we're out of combat. Should we not do it? Seems to be having trouble. All right, we'll get in the lane. Uh, wounding combat rifle. Targets bleed. That's cool. Oh, now you're down there. Here, I got a rifle for you. And they're gonna go over the safe. A bit of a challenge. I'll see what I can do. Damn! Broke a pin. I'll try again. Damn, what the hell's wrong with me? You need some drugs? <laughs> Almost had it that time. Got it. Uh, how many did you go through? Point. Three. Uh, it's not very good. I'm going to be using this axe, so why don't you use this? And I need you to carry whatever I there we go that find out what you need and I'll get right on it okay that was hardly worth nostalgic it nostalgic or something could always get some caps for that I suppose oh, was there a computer on downstairs Yeah, okay, let's check this out as well. No way I'm cracking this. I don't have auto hacker. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, let's take a look at their list. What were they after? Stuff worth coming back coming back for. Axe. Boss said it was too heavy to bother with, but someone will buy it. Comic books. Have to be one or two that are still legible. Always good for a few caps. Storeroom. Just need someone who could pick that lock. Have to check with Carl. Maybe he can get Ken Standish for the job. Damn monkey creeps me out. Well, aside from another magazine, we found one. Um, no, the safe was garbage. Okay, it looks like this goes up a few floors. Gotta make sure I don't fall through any holes. Alright, this is a legendary... Legendary guy here. Dog meat, do your thing. Pick that out, and then take that guy out. Uh, I can't believe we're using a battle axe. Pretty badass. I like it. Punishing leather left leg. Alright, what else we got going on in here? Guess we're still in danger. Quit playing games and come out where I can see you. Think they're probably upstairs. All right, did we finish off in here? Not yet, we didn't. Another way up. Uh-oh, 
you need help, you got it. Uh, re Sorry, Kate. <laughs> uh, didn't mean to hit you with a battle axe. You, you kind of just walk right into that. It was an accident, I swear. Yeah, there's a rad roach somewhere around here. Okay, I guess we'll head up right here. Uh, you could probably go back to your shotgun, Kate, if you want. Since I'm going melee, it might be a better choice for you. Okay, another jangles. Yeah, I assume there's at least two magazines in here, mainly from the note, but it would make sense if there'd be more than one in a comic book store. Fictional literature, okay. Check this out. Uh, from Vivian Odell to Tina Hopkins. I'll talk with Mr. Robowski, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Pete brought him in because he gets television. We have to accept that there's going to be changes to get to the small screen. I agree our fans are important, but the Silver Shroud's numbers outside of Boston are, well, not ideal. A lot is riding on the success of the pilot. If Mr. Robowski thinks an English butler could help the show, please hear him out. I love the work you and Vince have done with the Shroud. We wouldn't be shooting this show without you. I know it's tough, but hang in there. Okay, please help. Shannon and his family, I promise you I will fight for this. This needs to be resolved before Sunday. I'm not canceling my honeymoon again over this. Make sure Babowski doesn't sneak out before I can grab him. The subject need lines. Tina, baby, we needed those new lines yesterday. I don't know how you do things in radio, but we got catering, foley's, best men, and actors sitting around on their tushes because of your most recent delay. We're not writing Shakespeare here. It's TV, right? I know you don't like the new monkey, but Focus loves him. He's testing better than Claire in that silly wig. Speaking of which, Claire's agent is not is really not loving the wig. Really, really not loving it. Claire's flying in Monday, and by then I think it's best if we nix the wig. Am I right or what? And Shannon's being a real peach standing in for, for her while Claire wraps up her film. But it may be best if she's not around when Claire flies in. Will you take care of that? Thanks. I feel like we've only got like half the story going on there. All right, you're up. Don't break any hey. block picks. Sure, sure. Take a look. Just, I'll get it done. Really? Can you just hey. do it? Over there. Help you. Hey. Point out Go check that out. Yep, I've got it. Oh, you're fucking useless. Oh, there you go. Maybe. Yeah. This one might be a problem, but I can try. Okay, so we're not going to use her for lock Damn. picking. This lock's pissing me off. Ah, so close. Guess I'm getting rusty. That was easy. How about a challenge next? Cuz we don't time? actually find a I lot of bobby pins. Not saying I don't like it. Just thought I'd clear the air. Right. Damn it. Got blood on me boots. Silver Shroud script. Oh, great. I got parasites. Oh, I gotta put that in right here. Uh, what cures parasites? That a 
Don't know. It's been a long time since I had that. This means I have to eat more. I will figure it out later. Okay, the producer's terminal. Uh, I tried stalling her, but things are spir spiraling over here. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over at the Derby. Not good. Claire's still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfit. You got the shots of that, right? Yowza. So I don't care what's going on over there. We need to sign her before we lose her to the wise man's or someone else. Uh, we looked into the Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out is if she walks. Her partner signed over his rights to hubris, but she still has hers. If she even thinks of going to a lawyer, you got to work your magic, Babo. Imagine if we needed her approval. Okay, Mistress of Mystery Casting. It has come to my attention you've hired Claire Redell, Redell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery for the show. This is unacceptable. Uh, the Mistress of Mystery is an has an iconic look. She must be a brunette. The Mistress of Mystery is a strong female protagonist, not some damsel in distress. Shannon Rivers has voiced uh, Mom for years and is beloved in The Shroud and every other radio drama she's been a part of. I know we've had our differences, but this affects more than The Silver Shroud. The Mom and The Unstoppables are big brands. We absolutely must talk before I go on my vacation. So this is the writer that was writing them there, I think. Uh, Vivi, I got a hold of... Vivi got a hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire and she's dynamite. Love the altercations on the costume. It still feels like the comic, but more believable. So I'll back you there, but I'm with Viv Vivi. Mom's a brunette, period, and her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire in post? That's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. You also look cheesy. Uh, okay, I quit. Effective immediately, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for the Silver Shroud. And after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manticore has been wanting to hire me for years. Looks like your loss is their gain. Alright. So it's just an uh, actor dispute, apparently. A lot of drugs One in here. We're the first people to set foot here in quite a while. All right, what's left? I think it's just left to go actually check over here and then go up, I think. That guy got jacked up. Oh no. It's not good. Here, I saved this for you. What was that? Oh, I must have must have been me. Take out the leg. Or take out her leg, I guess. There. All right. Oh, I have to put a battle axe on. Okay, we leveled up. All the ghouls are dead. We only took a little bit of damage. What do we got here? 80 bottle caps. It's pretty impressive, actually. It's the most we've ever found on a on a thing. An enemy. Grognak costume. Bingo. Bruce wears strength by two and melee damage by ten. Yeah, but it's not that good. Pompadour wig. Let me take a look, but I'm Costume isn't going to go on underneath anything. Replace my shirt, but it's... Yeah. I don't think so. I don't do melee enough for that to be a... 
viable option there. Though, she may be able to wear it. Heads up. Now you're gonna be sharing that with both of us, right? Here, you have that. Uh, that works. You get a little more damage resistance than you had before. Okay. Good enough. And you'll do more melee damage. Nothing in there. Laser My rifle. Mom, we're all we can, but you're looking a little way down Heads up. There. Yeah, I need you to take a bunch of crap from me. Okay, we actually had quite a bit on us. go. There we go. There's another magazine. Stunning awesome tales. Hell yeah. Invasion of the Zetans. Do plus 5% damage with the alien blaster. Okay. We don't even have that yet. Uh, though we can get it. We did see the, the spaceship crash. I'll get this one, Kate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Good example I'm setting. Yes. Uh, nothing really all that great. She liked that I took some drugs. Or no, she liked that I lockpicked. Never mind. Silver Shroud costume. Give Kent the Silver Shroud costume, okay? What does it do? Uh, not a lot of damage resistance. Or well, none, I mean. <laughs> a little bit of energy resistance, okay? Silver, su silver submachine gun prop. Bingo. A quest item, okay. I don't know if that's a quest I don't have yet or what. Uh, okay, is that it? Uh, we got another computer. Studio terminal. Connection failed. Okay. Lighting controls. That's trippy. All right. I don't think we got much left to do. We got a script, the costume, and a prop. We have someone to give the costume to. Uh, the prop is just a random quest item I don't know about yet. That's a drop. All that is good to go. Alright, let's just make sure we got everything on the way out. Okay, we went through there. This goes downstairs. Uh, I think this is the staircase we didn't take last time. Oh, we leveled up again. I forgot. Well, okay. We can take another medic. I think I want to go gun nut. We're level 22. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll be able to do not all the mods just yet, because I think we need a little more science for some stuff. But, uh, at least we'll be able to do level 4 ones. 
thick. We have a little bit into science, but... Okay, we searched the kitchen already. That should be good. Bathroom, yeah. Did not go in there. We haven't read the manager's terminal yet. There's a key in there. That's would've been handy. Uh, from Tina Hopkins. Okay, I, this is the writer. I came into work today and found another stealth revision in this sc shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler. I keep telling Babowski that we need our core fans to be our evangelists. So we can't keep making these stupid little changes. You have to talk to him before you go on vacation. Otherwise, I swear I'm bringing it up to Pete. Tina again. I want to pull my hair out. Babowski has cast and signed a contract with Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. I don't care how much the tomb of Amun-Ra grossed. The Mistress of Mystery is a brunette, not a blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The Mistress of Mystery is confident. A match for the Shroud at his best day, not some half-starved waif that's known for her shrill screaming. Shannon Rivers has worked for us for decades. She is the voice of the Mistress of Mystery. End of story. She's even a natural brunette. She's not as young as Claire, but surely we can do something with lighting to help with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I won't have my name in the credits for this train wreck. Yeah, this is from Babowski to Vivian. Uh, Vivi, relax. If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What is it with you and guy? What is it with you guys and Mrs. Rivers, anyways? Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face made for radio. Am I right? Claire's got star power, and that's what we need. I talked with Petey Boy, and he's agreed to a couple new scenes. We need romance, and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this, then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. I got a full schedule today, dress rehearsals until 8. This can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So if we have to if we have to meet, eight's my only window. Alright. Well, that's why you lost her, I guess. Okay. So that gets me in here, which we've already been. No magazines on desks that I can see. Aha! Silver Shroud photo, oh. Sure. Stairs we took. Alright, let me just look through the shelves real quick, make sure there's not a comic, just hanging out here that I might have overlooked. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, Brotherhood's hanging out. Okay, these are way down here. All right, we got a shit ton of quests over at Diamond City, so it's time to get there. You mean you found an enemy? Where is he? What do you got, boy? I don't see anything, and I don't think you can sense that far away, can you? Yeah, maybe you can. So I'm keeping an eye on those mutant freaks over at Trinity, and this guy comes out of nowhere sprinting down the road. 
I know he must have seen him standing there from way down the street, but he didn't slow down or even duck into one of the alleys. Who's that? Playing games with me, huh? Well, you're gonna pay! It's time to make a mess! Oh, thought they had him. Okay, battle axe to the back. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Uh, I don't plan on it. You know, I like that. I prefer that to uh, the creedy bitch at me for picking up picking up everything. All right, I didn't really plan on making a detour. Just curious what that uh, dog meat found. Come on, guys, we got a job to do. Oh, I killed a ramen. Anyways, what do we have here? Was this the? Yeah, that's the library. We've already been there a bunch. Of, well, twice, I guess. Do I have any books I got to turn in? I don't know that I've really found any. I got two. Yeah, we'll wait a little longer for that, I guess. Should be right around here. I haven't been here in a long time. go I think security hangs out here I guess ah oh. that's not good the overcharged ones are the ones that explode shoot him in the thruster take a crit here got him There it is. Okay, that hurt. Put the rads there. Okay, that's not gonna work. Maybe this. Is it possible this guard could wake his ass up? That'd be kind of nice. the thruster dog meat you know how to show a girl a good time oh really excited to get up all right we took a shit ton of rads um now's a good time to go ahead and use i don't think we're gonna attack many insects or anything so let's go ahead and use a right away probably have to use two we're close to home so we can definitely get some sleep pretty early Pretty easy, I mean. It's still... I guess I could have came and talked to him. That would have woke him up. Combat armor, chest piece, incendiary. 30% chance to ignite melee attackers once every 20 seconds. Uh, I think what we're wearing is way better, though. Yeah. Look kind of cool, though. Alright. You're also dang not dangerously low, but it's pretty low in ammo, too, so... Heading back to Sanctuary. Doing this is not a bad idea. 
Okay, that's weird. What's going on? Where are they shooting spot? <laughs> A bunch of raiders live here? That seems... Dangerously close to Diamond City. Alright. Bot may be dead then. No way I could pick this. Yeah, I don't think I'm shooting through here either. Nope. Oh well, not my problem. I find it weird that you guys are just letting all that go on right over there. Hey, you got some stuff to sell, don't you, or to buy, don't you? Cricket. Got a hankering for a melting face? Then I'm your girl. Uh, I'll yeah, why sure. not? Oh, goody. Let's make mischief. Melting face. Yeah, there's a lot of money. We have that. Okay, I gotta get something else from my... Actually, you take that. And what else? Actually, that'll work for now. And Kate. Look alive. Time to trade a few things. Read that. Cricket. Come on, come on. Get your guns here. Uh huh. I'll take a look. Sure. Oh, goody. Let's make mischief. 137. Care about that. Wow, value eleven hundred and sixty two. Eleven hundred sixty two. Okay, well I guess I won't be selling you that stuff I got, but you can have oops. You can have that. Yeah, that'll work. All right. See you later, Cricket. If we're looking for some action, I'm betting we'll find it here. Okay, I say we run straight to our house. Uh, we could... Actually, let's use another... Right away. I think it's done doing its thing. Or maybe we shouldn't, because if we're going to go to sleep, we get a chance to get sick while we're sleeping. Your friend looks like trouble. Make sure she's not. Actually, is the doctor awake? No. No, he's not. Okay, guys, yeah, so I'm going to go in the episode here. Uh, what I'll do is, off camera, I'll head back to Sanctuary, kind of get our stuff situated. And, um... Uh, actually, I'll have part of Sanctuary in there, because I want to check the mail. And we'll see if anything else interesting happens. So in the next episode, we'll probably start out in Sanctuary. But, um, okay, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know you have a choice in where you watch your follow Let's Plays, and I thank you for choosing... One night sniper. Peace out, everyone.